Now it's obvious the tech giants have declared war on America. The blacklisting of Infowars, Alex Jones, Prison Planet, Paul Joseph Watson, all those people, the complete blacklisting now coordinated in a collusion style format by Apple, YouTube, Google, Facebook, who else? Spotify, others. This is an act of war against the American people. And that's because it is an assault on one of the most prominent pro-liberty voices in America. And it was pulled off with a, a whole series of falsehoods and lynch mob mentality. First, they, they demonize Alex Jones with outright lies about him in the media, claiming that, for example, that he shoved a child to the ground, even though the video clearly shows it's somebody completely different, doesn't even look like Alex Jones. It's, it's, Alex Jones played the video. It was a video of a, like an 11 or 12-year-old kid bullying an adult, and this, this young kid kept hitting and, and punching this guy in the face, this guy that was like standing in line somewhere. And the guy tried to move away from the kid, eventually just shoved the kid backwards. The kid fell to the ground and then started crying. It wasn't Alex, but it doesn't matter because facts don't matter when there's a lynch mob, right, that's being all riled up with false emotion. So they called for Alex Jones to be banned. And CNN lobbied for this directly. And I think a, a senator lobbied for this, Deutsch, I think, I think is his name. Is he a senator? Or a congressman. In, either way, a lawmaker lobbied for this, a CNN lobbied for this, and many people on the left, like Media Matters and so on. And so Facebook and YouTube and all these places just banned Alex on the same day with no due process, no ability to defend yourself, no evidence, no charges, you know, just like no due process, just they feel like they want to ban you. They just decide to do it, and they don't have to show you how or why or give you a chance to defend yourself or anything. It's insane. And so they did that. But in doing that, they declared war on America because they said to the world that they are going to ban anybody that they don't like by calling you someone engaged in hate speech. Now, what is hate speech? According to the left, hate speech is any time a conservative wins an argument. Or hate speech might be described as any time a conservative speaks, or anybody who isn't a radical left-wing communist. If you speak, that's hate speech according to the left. So they can say anything is hate speech. They can say if you don't love pedophiles, that's hate speech. Because the left is all promoting pedophilia now. They can say if you don't love female genital mutilation of young girls, in the Muslim faith, then, oh, you're, you are, you have Islamophobia. You're a hater of the Muslim faith, and that's enough to ban you. Meanwhile, all the people on the left are out there screaming, murder Trump and murder Alex Jones and kill white people, murder Christians. They're screaming this every day. Do they get banned? Well, of course not. Of course not, because there is no consistently applied rule to banning people. It, it literally is whatever, whatever the tech company feels like at that moment or whatever radical left-wing libtard is working there, whatever they feel like at the moment, then they just ban you. So I've been banned by YouTube for months. Alex Jones finally got banned today. When I say finally, I, I, I'm surprised that it, that it took this long because we know that the tech giants just want to censor any pro-America speech. And Alex, he's, he's got direct contact with uh, President Trump or Trump staffers. And my God, the tech giants can't stand that. They can't stand any competition. I mean, think about this. This is CNN eliminating its competition because CNN is losing. Nobody believes CNN. CNN's fake news. Infowars, whether you like them or not, are real news. Infowars strives to print the truth every minute of every day. There's nobody at Infowars that deliberately lies to the public, but CNN, oh, they deliberately mislead you all the time on purpose. They engineer every article to be deceptive and dishonest. But they say at CNN that they alone have a First Amendment right 
and they've even badgered Trump over that, but that InfoWars doesn't have a First Amendment right. Literally, CNN lobbying to have InfoWars banned while CNN is claiming that Trump must uphold the First Amendment. Well, what about Apple? What about Google? What about Facebook? Must they not uphold the First Amendment? So I've issued a public statement on all of this. It's called, I think it's called Mike Adams' official public statement on the censorship of Alex Jones. You can find this at real.video. Real.video. People are now telling me, my God, Mike, how did you see this coming? Because I started building real.video about a year ago, I, I suppose. And it took a while. And now the platform is, is really the the hub of free speech videos on the internet and people are flocking to real dot video. Um, the other day we had over 300 new channels in one day, but typically on a given day, it's about 250 new channels. You know, we've got thousands of videos. We're serving now 1.1 million video minutes every seven days. That's the latest statistic, 1.1 million and rising steadily. And people say, well, how did you know this was coming? And, you know, my answer is always consistent on this. I say, look, I, I saw this coming. Yes, I, it wasn't hard to project that this is where this is going. In fact, Alex saw it too. And Alex predicted that they were going to ban him and blacklist him off these tech platforms. And I predicted it too. In fact, Alex and I have that prediction capability uh, very much in common. We both kind of see what's coming in the next couple of years. And Alex has been right on so many issues that he was teased about and attacked about, like your, your TV spying on you. I don't know if you recall, but just, you know, 10 years ago, if you said oh, your TVs are going to spy on you, uh, even though that's now totally admitted, widely known Samsung TVs listen to you and sell your data. They, they record your conversations and Amazon Echo devices record your conversations. A Facebook app on your phone listens to everything you're saying. And, and, and uses it to build a psychological profile. This is all widely known now, but 10 years ago, when Alex was saying that this, this is coming, they said, oh, he's a tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorist. They, they continue to call him a conspiracy theorist today. They say, well, Alex claims that he's going to be censored. That's a conspiracy theory. And then the tech giants censor him. They censor him for what? For peddling conspiracy theories. So what kind of conspiracy theory? The conspiracy theory that says he's going to be censored, which just happened, by the way. So it's, it's all this circular reasoning. It's like, we have to censor Alex Jones for being a conspiracy nut. And you're like, well, what does he say that's a conspiracy? Well, he said that we're going to censor him. We, we're not going to censor him, but then they censor him. It's insane. <laughs> and, and, you know, the, here's, here's the thing. Though. The, the tech giants have wildly miscalculated because already today, and this is, this is, I'm recording this on Monday, this is the day that they started the censorship, the outpouring of support for Alex Jones, it's unprecedented. And not only did I put out my video, but I saw Brent Bozell put out a statement. I've seen Breitbart News covering it. I've seen a Daily Caller, PJ Media, uh, even just like straight up conservative websites that a lot of them say, well, we don't agree with Alex Jones, but this is a very dangerous, slippery slope of censorship. Even Ben Shapiro, who really hates Alex Jones, by the way, because I guess they have quite a fight going, you know, and Alex um, doesn't like Ben Shapiro and Ben doesn't like Alex. And frankly, I disagree with a lot of Ben's positions on things. I think he's I think he's in with the globalists, frankly, but that's I don't focus on Ben Shapiro. But Ben even came out and said that he thinks Alex Jones is full of total crap, but he still supports Alex's right to free speech. You know, and, and I applaud Ben for saying that. That, you know, at least Ben from time to time, he is intellectually consistent with what he says about issues like the First Amendment. So he came out and defended Alex Jones. And this, this outpouring, it's absolutely huge. And it's from so many sectors across society. Even I was watching the real dot video videos get posted today and this morning it was like every channel on there was saying oh we are alex jones you know they're coming for us next all news pipeline posted a big story about where this is going 
And it's become apparent to everyone that if they, if they ban Alex Jones and we don't speak out, then they're coming for us next. That was, in fact, a tweet by uh, Stefan Molyneux. And there have been a lot of supporting tweets, even, I think, from Julian Assange, by the way, and many, many other prominent people in the liberty community and so on. I, I would bet you that Anonymous is also uh, going to jump on this issue and talk about the dangers of the censorship that's targeting Alex Jones. This is, this is a very big deal. And what the tech giants don't seem to realize is not only is their action blatantly illegal, which is why I've called for their arrest under RICO Act racketeering violations, they are, they are clearly engaged in criminal racketeering, coordinated collusion to silence conservative voices before an up upcoming election. This is massive election fraud. It's criminal. And it is massive racketeering, which is also criminal. These tech giant CEOs, in my view, should be arrested and prosecuted for a multitude of felony crimes, including conspiracy, to, um, to commit to, to defraud the United States of America during an election. By the way, the midterm elections are very, very close. But not only is that coming out now, but the tech giants have just made Alex Jones a martyr. They have just made Alex Jones the most prominent defender of free speech in America. I mean, they just elevated Alex to a level of credibility and a, a level of hero. Uh, I don't even know what the right word is. Um, they've, they've made him the heroic defender of freedom of speech in America. And they did this, I guess, thinking that if they just shut Alex down, that he would go away. Oh, <laughs> that is never going to happen. I can tell you this. I mean, you know, I fill in for Alex Jones as a guest host from time to time. And I talk to Alex off camera from time to time. I can tell you that off camera, Alex is even more determined than he is on camera. And he's one of the most determined individuals that I've ever met. Well, probably the most. I mean, if, if Alex were a soldier in World War II, he would pick up two machine guns and charge the German nest, tossing grenades and spraying fire in the name of liberty. He, he charges the enemy. Alex Jones cannot be intimidated. It's impossible. It's not in his nature to be intimidated. He, he just gets more determined, frankly, to fight you. <laughs> He's like, you know, and if, if these tech companies think that Alex is just going to tuck his tail between his legs and walk away with his head hung low. Oh my God, we got defeated. I guess we should stop talking. No, not going to happen. Alex is just going to get mad, like even more mad. Alex is just going to go after him. He's going to sue him and he's going to probably have massive class action lawsuits that I will join because I've been victimized by this as well. I've been targeted. Uh, I've been the subject of economic sabotage. I've been the subject of info terrorism carried out by all these tech companies willingly, knowingly. And if we can get some traction in the courts, you know what? There, there would be thousands of other Americans joining us in this lawsuit. And we should sue. We should sue Google, YouTube and Facebook for literally billions of dollars in actual damages and punitive damages. I'm telling you, these tech companies should be sued en masse in a massive nationwide class action lawsuit because of their fraud, their racketeering, collusion, selective censorship, economic sabotage, and much more. And it's Alex that is spearheading this effort. That's indisputable at this point. There is now no greater champion of free speech in America than Alex Jones. And he didn't ask for that position. I happen to know this. He did not ask for it. I mean, he's told me things off camera. I know all he wants to do is have his children grow up in a free country. He didn't ask for this fight. He didn't ask for all this attention. He, frankly, doesn't want to be the center of all this attention. Really, that's kind of a, a little known secret, I, I suppose. It's kind of like me. I don't, I don't want to be on camera either. I just want to have a, a life where I am safe from the damn communists who want to come take our businesses and steal our land and shoot us in the head. You know, I just want to be able to have a, an online platform, freedom of speech, to be able to participate in that free marketplace of ideas. And that's all Alex wants, too. None of us want to be fighting every day. 
but we have to. And now there's no one better at this fight than Alex Jones, and there's no one that is more important in this fight than Alex Jones, which is why I urge you to support Alex Jones, even if you disagree with what he says. And I hear this from, you know, women, for whatever reason, really don't like Alex Jones a lot. I, I mean, his style appeals to, to men, I guess, more than women. There are plenty of women that like him, but it's, the ratio is not that high. It might be like only 20% women and 80% men, something like that. But I'm asking you, even if you're a woman listening to this, even if you don't like Alex Jones' style, you need to support his right to speak. Why? Because his right to speak is your right to speak. It's my right to speak. All of us will share the same fate as Alex Jones. That is something you need to get through your head. So I'm going to repeat it. All of us will share the same fate as Alex Jones. If you want to be able to speak out and tell the truth about vaccines or GMOs or medicinal herbs or any, any subject, then you need to support Alex Jones because he is now blazing the trail, the battle against the tech giants who are determined to destroy free speech and determined to selectively punish and censor those voices with whom they disagree. And they want to be the only ones to decide what that is. And they can change their definitions at any moment. They're, they don't have to abide by any rules. There's no oversight. There's no laws, nothing. They just censor anybody they want for any reason. And they don't answer to anyone. And I ask you, is that okay with you? Is that okay in our society? Because you know that the vaccine movies have all been censored too, like Vax with Del Bigtree. You know that what they're doing to Alex Jones today, they've done to the vaccine truth doctors and nurses like Dr. Suzanne Humphreys, right? Um, this, is, this is a common tactic. They smear you, they defame you, and they censor you, and they justify it with the way they, they smeared you. And they do all this so that the truth never is allowed to come out about the dangers of vaccines, for example, or the corruption of the deep state, or the cancer-causing potential of glyphosate herbicide, or the dangers of GMOs, genetic pollution, all that. The establishment demands absolute control over every narrative, and if they can't control the narrative, they are now banning every voice that they don't like. That is their game plan. And this is happening in America. This is happening in a nation where we are supposed to have the First Amendment, freedom of speech, freedom of religious expression, freedom to peaceably assemble, freedom to petition the government. You know, these, these are fundamental human rights that are now being violated by Facebook, Google, uh, YouTube, all, all these tech giants. They are now anti-human rights, and they're building all their search engines and systems for communist China, which is an evil communist regime that is heavily engaged in organ harvesting from political prisoners, by the way. And that's the model that Mark Zuckerberg is following. Mark Zuckerberg is modeling Facebook after the human rights abuses of China, and so is Google. So Alex Jones is our champion now for freedom of speech in America. He has become already an historic figure. And he's not perfect, and he'll tell you that. He's made mistakes, we all have, but he deserves a right to speak. And if you don't believe in Alex Jones' right to speak, you don't believe in free speech at all. So join me in this effort. Demand, demand regulatory and legal action against the tech giants. Demand that Alex Jones be set free to speak as a free American. Thank you for listening. Mike Adams here, the Health Ranger, creator of Real.Video, publisher of NaturalNews.com and CounterThink.com. Take care. Learn more at HealthRangerReport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at HealthRangerStore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.